fun to, you know, but get on. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're doing probably the most highly requested video um, we've ever had. We're gonna go through step by step and show you guys how we build our dirt jumps. It's gonna be different for everyone depending on what dirt you're using, but it's pretty much the same technique. Behind me we have where a big step up's gonna be. It's gonna be a trick jump, as we mentioned in the video beforehand. What you wanna do is you wanna work with the natural terrain. Um, as you can see here, it's risen up, so all we'll have to do is carve out a lip here. Um, if you do that, it means that you have to move less dirt. So try work with um, where you're building the jumps. So pick lines that are gonna flow with the um, natural terrain. If there's rocks and things, try work around them and um, use them in jumps like we will do today. If you're doing a lot of damage, you're gonna get your jumps bulldozed pretty quick. Luckily, we're out here on private property, so we've got nothing to worry about. So yeah, you want to pick a spot where you know, um, preferably your property, so you know nothing's going to happen to the jumps. But we do know not everyone's going to be fortunate enough to do that, so just try. If you're building on a public property, we don't encourage it, but do make sure it's very well hidden. We'll start carving out the lip. Um, so this, it shouldn't take too much dirt to build the lip. We'll get most of the lip by digging out all the dirt and rocks and we'll sort of pile all the rocks and dirt into a shape that sort of looks like a nice transition. Um, this first step is just getting the dirt, sourcing your dirt, knowing where you're getting it from. Always map it out and plan where you're going to get dirt. So we're just going to dig it from this area here um, whilst carving out the bottom, making the bottom area nice and smooth. We'll carve that all out there, carve this all out, just dig it all up with the crowbar and shovels and get it nice and loose and then you can come through and smooth it out. So we'll do that now. We'll go through, we'll break everything up and try get some sort of lip form. Tell us when to go. So when you're um, trying to get um, the the run, not not the run in the area between the two jumps, you want to get down on your hands and knees, and ideally you want a spirit level, but the eye is a good enough thing, and you just want to scrape out little bits. Make sure it's very flat. The flatter, the better. Sometimes, if you just want to like annoy Benno or something like that, you just dig holes in the middle of the, the track, like this. And um, that's just if you're like digging near someone you don't like and just want to like have a bit of laugh for the day. But normally, if Benno wasn't here, I'd just um, you know, it out. And that's about all I have to say for this part of how to build a jump. As you're building, you always want to make sure that you're watering the jump. Um, you don't want any dry spots in the jump because that will make it a risk of collapsing. You want to make the whole, sure the whole thing is nice and damp. Um, you got to find that right consistency. Every dirt's different in terms of how much water, um, how much water to put into it to get it a nice consistency. But you know, just experiment with it. If it's too wet, the mixture you building the jump out of, just add a little dry dirt. If it's um, too dry, just add water. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. So right now, um, Benno's working up working up the top on the landing. The landing will be super easy. Uh, as you know, it's a step up. So up at the top, we won't need much dirt because it's on a hill. Uh, the lip, we'll build it, the lip, probably another foot. 
We want this to be a nice, um, nice trick jump, nice step up that boots you up. And uh, yeah, we're just getting the rest of the dirt for the lip and landing, and then we'll start talking about shaping it. So yeah, we'll get this done. <laughs> so we've got here today we're teaching you how to shape a lip. First things first is you want a good shovel. This one, the, the well, as you can see, I'm not very good at aiming, but this shovel is just absolutely shit for j jumping lips. So you just got to turn it. <laughs> now, if you get the right shovel, it will be beautiful, polished, no paint, smooth. Very square, flat, flat mouth, square mouth, either or either. You want to make sure you can really, you want to make sure it has a strong handle actually, so that you just don't, I mean, bend it when you're um, packing it in, like this. You want to make sure the transition's smooth and with lots of water. This stuff helps and make, makes it go hard. You want to get a lot of that in there. For all this dirt at the front here, you just want to get that up on top. Makes the lip higher, a bit steeper. As the rest of the jumps in this line are very fing race it out. And you want to. Oh, I keep forgetting that. You want to jump on it, get it nice and packed. And then if you're crazy, you could hit it right now, but no one here will do that today. So peace out, fellas. Jump's looking pretty good. We're pretty close to being done now. So we're back out here for another day, um, building the jump. Hopefully we'll have it done by today. All we need to do is uh, stack up that takeoff a little bit more. The landing, it's quite a big gap at the moment. We want it to be a really steep, close gap. Um, a thing to think about when you're building dirt jumps is uh, if you have the jumps really steep, the gaps can't be as long but if you have them mallow, you can build the gaps longer. So if you want a trick jump, you want lots of air. So pull in that gap, make the takeoff steep. That's what we've done here. Just got a nice steep takeoff, so it'll set you up perfectly um, for tricks. Give you plenty of air time and you won't have to worry about the gap. Another thing when you're building dirt jumps, a lot of people struggle packing in the jump. Uh, it's quite a uh, common occurrence when people pack in the jump, they don't slide their shovel. What you want to be focusing on is sliding your shovel. You want to make sure when you hit it, um, you slide it. It'll help um, your shovel not stick to the dirt. You want to have the dirt that you're packing in quite damp, so it will be quite sticky. So if you're not sliding the shovel, your shovel's gonna get covered in mud, so make sure you're sliding it when you're packing it in. So I'll stack up the lip now, um, try widen it up a little bit, and then I'll shape it and try to get a nice transition on it. A thing that you will need to build jumps um, is a crowbar or a pickaxe or a matic. Uh, you just need it to break up the dirt, break up the rocks. Um, some of the areas 
that you guys are going to be digging will be quite rough. We dig with mostly clay. Um, try to build our jumps out of clay because it sets the hardest and lasts the longest. So it is quite um, tough to dig though. Going along now, um, clearing out a path for the jump and also getting dirt at the same time. Then I just come through and um, finished off the lip. It's looking unreal. Basically, when you're shaping the lip, all you want to do is soak the dirt. Not too much that it's mud, just so it's damp and it's easy to work with. Smooth it all out. Ben has done a beautiful job of this lip. It's looking pretty nice. So yeah, we've gone for a quite a steep lip. As you can see, quite a tall one as well, because we're going to have heaps of speed on this, this line coming straight down the hill. Um, big trick jump. So the lip's done, as you can see. Now we need to start working on the landing. We'll do, we'll finish off the landing tomorrow. We might get a little bit done tonight. When you're building jumps, try use as many rocks as you can. That just means that you have to use less dirt and you have to wheelbarrow less dirt. Um, that's a tip that we like to use whenever we can. If you are gonna be rebuilding the jump, it does get a bit annoying, so just remember that. And don't use logs and things like that. That'll, that'll decompose and break down because then your lip will have um, weak spots in it. So we'll try to get this landing done. Landing's quite easy to stack up dirt and it's easy to shape. This, it's a little bit more technical to shape. You just want to get a nice curve in it. Um, just always look side onto your jump and see what it's looking like. You want it nice, smooth and consistent. No um, lumps in the lip anywhere. So yeah, um, just persistence with lips, building lips, that's it. finish this jump for now um, the landing as you can see it's quite small um, took a lot longer than anticipated mainly because of all the rocks in this area this dirt's super hard to dig we moved out a heap of rocks this is one of them um, so yeah quite hard to move whenever you put a shovel in you pretty much hit a rock um, so it just increases the time that'll take to build stuff when you work with dirt like that but luckily we didn't need much dirt for this landing we're gonna keep it quite. We're gonna keep it quite small for now, just so we can test it. Um, it's looking quite rough at the moment. Um, when you're building your landings, uh, this one's a trick jump, so the landing doesn't really matter. But if it's in the middle of a set, you will, will want to smooth it out. Um, just water it up and just pack it in with the shovel. Just slide in your shovel, easier to do. And the, on the landings, you don't really want to have any sort of curve in them. Most of them are just sort of banks with um, curves at the bottoms. Honestly, the landings are easy to build. Um, just keep persisting at it and you'll get pretty good at it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this jump. That's pretty much done. Um, sorry, it wasn't heaps of detail in this video. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. So yeah, um, next video out here, hopefully we'll be testing these. Uh, still gotta make a few adjustments, so and if you like this style of video um, where we talk a bit more about what we're doing, 
uh, let us know. Um, let us know if you'd prefer this or just the regular building time lapses with music over them. So just let us know um, in the comments if you like this style more. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video out here where we absolutely shred this place. So thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next vid. Thank you.